to get something that I've been trying to get for a year now it's the field which is right the other side of my Roman field so I've done all the fields say to, to the right hand side of my Roman field and there's not been any other Roman stuff on there but I've, I've been in contact with the um the estate owner who owns the estate on the other side um and asked him for permission just to do this one field and he come back to me yesterday and said I could do it for a month until he starts drilling it so Yep, I'm there now. It's a massive, I think it's about 60 acre field. It's all nice cultivated, never been detected. He owns a massive estate. It's like 10,000 hectares or something. Um, he's owned, their family's owned it since like the 40s. So it's never been detected on, so he never lets anybody on here. But he's been nice enough to let me on here for a month to see if I can find any more of this, what I think is a Roman settlement. Um, so it could be that it's spread across this field as well as my other field. Or it might just be that there were just on that one field. But I'm hoping that there's more of it on this big field that I'm on now. Um, yeah, we're talking about 60 acres, all nice cultivated, never detected. Next to my Roman field. I'm just hoping that there's some more good Roman stuff on here. So yeah, um, I think that's enough talking. I'm going to go out and see if I can find some. So I'll see you on the first decent target. See you in a bit. hoping this is a good sign, guys. I'm not even on the field yet. Well, I've just I'm still getting my stuff out of the car. I'm already seeing stuff like this on the field. And there's quite a lot of it. Yeah, there's a lot of these little bits of brick. The same as what I find on the Roman field next door, so hopefully it's a good sign. Right, it's in a right guys, got a little surface find sticking up out there. It looks like it might be like a little harness ring. I think that's what it looks like. Yeah, I think so. That's the first decent signal I've had. I've been, a, I've only been about 20 minutes or so. Had like a tin can and a few random bits of lead. I didn't bother filming. But I'm walking towards like part of my other Roman field where I find all the Roman stuff. So hopefully, my hunch is right. There should be some Roman stuff on there as well. But I don't know. I might be wrong. But we'll see. If there's not Roman stuff, there might be something else. So. We'll see what we find. All right, see you on the next one. Hi guys, got the first button of the day. Yeah, nothing exciting about that one, just a plain little button. That'll probably be the last one of them ones I'll show you for you. All right, on to the next one. Right, guys, we've got a nice sounding target here. Sounds quite small as well. Give it a dig and see what it is. Well, there's a field next door, which I suppose you'd expect because I'm looking on the maps and it used to be one big field at some point. So, I'm hoping the Romans have been here. Oh, I've lost it now. Right, one second. All right, I found it, guys. It was this little, I think it's a little button. It's given me the run around for ages, but I found it in the end. Got excited when I saw a little bit of green, but oh well, on to the next. Right, guys, I got one that was almost on the surface in this clod here. I'm hoping that's what I think it is. If it is, then I'm finally on the right path. Oh, is that what I think it is? Is that a little Roman? Oh, I think it could be. That's brilliant. Finally got another field, I think, by the looks of it anyway. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's a Roman. Just about to see a little bit of detail on there. I don't think there's anything on that side, but 
that's the one sign I was looking for, just give me a bit of hope. So if you look there, just through that hedge there, that's where my other Roman field is. So it's the first time I've actually found a field next to my Roman field that's producing some Roman. Cool, right, I'm going to go and find some more. See you all next. Right guys, could be onto another one here. It looked green when I flicked it out the hole. Is that another little one? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's definitely another little Roman. Get in. Yep, I've found the hot spot again. Now, I just need to work my way around it and see what else this field's got for me. If there's any decent ones. Could even be Celtic on here. I found that poaching just the other side of this bush as well, so... Could be Celtic, Roman, Saxon, everything. Get in, right. Hopefully this should be a good one guys. I'll see you on the next one. Alright guys, just digging this hole. Um, had an iffy sort of signal in there, not a great one. Had those little bits of um, brick or, yeah that's a bit of brick I think. And that, yeah, just in the hole with whatever this was. Uh, it could be something good. And it's around here somewhere I think. Probably lost it again. And it's gone. It's in there somewhere. Oh, is it just that? No, nope. right, one second. It should be in there somewhere. Should be in there. No. Nope. Oh, it's right there. Bloody hell, a little button. Oh well, a little four-hole button. Right, on to the next. Right guys, got another little clod here with something in it. Could be a coin or a button. Only one way to find out. Let's get it out. Ah, it's a button. Oh well. Always the way, isn't it? Right, on to the next. Right guys, got another little button or coin situation. Uh, just there. Could be another little grotty Roman. Nope, it's a grotty bone button. <laughs> Bonin? Button instead. Oh well. Yeah, it was close. Right, anyway, on to the next. I just had this one here, guys. Um, not a clue what it is, but it's different. I'm not really getting much now since those two little grotty Romans I've had. Not oh, chopped it. But yeah, it's, I don't know. It's like a diamond shaped hole in the middle. I don't know if it's got some sort of markings on there, but nah. no, I don't think it's anything interesting to be honest. Oh, well, moving on. I just found this one here, just sitting on the surface. I don't know if it's some kind of, I don't know, maybe like a cat badge or something. I don't think it's going to be too old. Mm. Yeah, maybe it's like some sort of cat badge. If anybody recognises it, let me know. Stick it in the comments. It's like it's got two like leaves there and like an acorn in acorn in the middle or something. Yeah. yeah. That's the best find I've had for a little while though, so yeah, well, right. Back on the hunt for Romans. See you in a bit. Right everyone, here's the um, giveaway results. Just want to say thank you to everybody that entered. Uh, thank you to Metal Detectors Online for giving us the merch as well. Um, right, as you can see on here, I've filtered out the comments with the hashtag hammered. Got 33 unique commenters. So, just going to click down here. So we'll do third prize first, which is the t shirt. I'm going to press start. So, third prize goes to Craig. Devlin, I'll just write your name down, Craig. Craig Devlin. Um, yeah, so you've won the t shirt, the Metal Sceptres Online t shirt. So next, we'll do the second prize, which is the polo shirt and the trouser gaiters. So the second prize goes to 
Drum roll. Mel Williams. Mel Williams, you've got a polo shirt, metal sceptre's polo shirt and the uh, trouser gaiters. Just write your name down. Alright, next one, first prize, which is for the hammered coin. It's a little Lizzie Penny, I think it is. There it is, you can just about make out her head on there. It's got quite good condition actually. Look good on the back side as well. Yep, so you win that. And a MDO jumper, I think it was. Yeah, it was a jumper. Alright, there we go. Good luck. So you've got the first prize. All that glitters, mud larking and metal detecting. Wow, okay, that's a big name. <laughs> All that glitters, mud larking and metal detecting. Right, okay. You guys, if it's one person, mud light and metal detecting channel, you've just won yourself a little hammered coin. Um, well, I'll put an email address up on here, so you can even contact me through email, or get me on Facebook, go through my Diggy Dubs Facebook page, or I'm on Instagram as well, send me a DM through there. Just let me know your name and address, and I'll get it all sent out to you. All right, thanks again for entering. Thanks for subscribing, everybody. Thanks to Metal Detectors Online for the merch. Thanks to Danny Patel. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Well, that's the next one, just a little bit of lead. Yep, yeah, just a little square piece of lead, nothing on it, I don't think. Yeah, I'm not getting the kind of activity I was hoping for now. So I'm sort of, I'm sort of zigzagging around the field a little bit, just trying to find a little spot. But yeah, not much coming up at the moment. But fingers crossed, something good will come up soon. See you on the next. Right, guys, got another little surface find here. And I think I can see that it's a button already, actually. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, what's it gone? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's, um, it's a big button. Probably a little livery button. Livery button, however you say it. Yeah, but it's been battered. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get much off that now. Oh well, on to the next. Alright, here's the next one guys. Massive piece of lead. Big square chunk. I ain't got a clue what that would have been used for. But yeah, it's massive. What size is that? It's not even a palm guard, is it? It's just a big square piece of lead. Nope, not a clue. Alright, on to the next. Alright guys, just got this one. I thought it was just a little random piece of lead at first, but it's like some sort of animal. I think it might have been a horse. It's the head there, it would have had four legs and the body. Yeah, I think it's like a little little lead horse. That's different, never had one of them before. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, obviously he lost his head somehow, but that's yeah, pretty cool, I like that. Right, on to the next. I right, just got this one, guys. It's another little cat badge by looks of it. This one's, I can make this one out. I think it's Royal Engineers. I think it says, I can see Royal Engineers on the bottom there. Pretty battered, but pretty cool. I haven't had cat badges, cat badges for a while, so it's something different. Not what I'm looking for, but pretty good. All right, see you on the next. All right, just got this, guys. <clears throat> I think it's a big horse brass. That's what it looks like, anyway. Got some initials on there. Is that LW? I think it is. I'm not sure. It looks like that to me, like L or C. I don't know. Yeah, it's a big horse brass, though. Pretty cool. Alright, on to the next. And there's the next one, guys. Another big old piece of lead. Um, yeah, it's not going great at the moment. I haven't had many signals, to be honest. Uh, I've got about two hours left, I think. So. Uh, but it is a bloody big field. I'm walking around trying to find a nice spot. I mean, I tried that spot where I found the two Romans at the beginning, but I can't seem to find any more there. So I'm just sort of going across it, trying to find another spot. But something good will come up soon, I'm sure. It's a big enough field, there's got to be something here. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Uh, the next one, guys, a little musket ball. Well, it's quite a big one, actually. And it's still got the little, um, I don't know what you call it, the join on the end of it as well. 
And bloody wait till that. Wouldn't want to be hit by that one. Right, I'll see you on the next one. Alright guys, there's the next one. Um, possibly like a little loom weight or something, I don't know. Just a round piece of lead with a hole in. Could be a loom weight. Uh, sorry about the wind. I'm trying to shelter from it, but it's quite windy today. Um, yeah, probably a little loom, some sort of loom weight. Alright, I'll see you on the next one. Alright guys, got something green in the clod. I'm hoping it's not another bloody button, but it could be. Let's find out. Oh uh, yeah, I think it is as well. Yep. I oh, know it's not even a button, is it? It's a little bloody. Ah, uh, it's just a piece of crap. <laughs> it's like a little harness ring or some random piece of junk. Oh well, onto it. And I got another musket bolt. No more Romans yet, though. Looks like I might have to go back to the original Roman field. But I mean, this this field's so big, I will be. I will come back and give it another go at some point. Alright, what's the next? Alright guys, just got this one. I got excited for a second, I thought it might have been part of a Roman brooch, but I'm not sure. And it's got the... Well, it looked like a catch plate at the bottom, but then it's got this really sharp... Look at that point at the bottom there. I don't remember brooches having that on them, so no, I don't think it is. I was excited for a minute, but... It's got like a hook at the bottom. I don't think any brooches I've seen before have that on it. I don't know. Could be wrong, but... I don't know. I don't think it is. Alright, I'm on my way back to the car now anyway, so... I doubt I'll get any more now. I'll see you in a bit. That's the best sign I've had of Roman since those two Romans at the very beginning. Got a nice little oyster shell sitting on the surface there. They've definitely been on here, but I just can't seem to find uh, anything metallic that they've left behind at the moment. But it's like I said, it's such a big field, there could still be loads of stuff to be found. But yeah, that's definitely a good sign. So, I realise it's not actually as late as I thought it was, so I might stay for another half hour or so, see what I can find. Alright, I'll see you all in the next one. There you go guys, there's a little glimpse of how much crap I actually dug today. I've been here for six hours, and yeah, you see the state of that. Loads and loads. Loads of holes dug, and all that to show for it. Not really had many good finds, a couple of Romans. And a couple of cat badges, horse, brass, and that's about it really. Anyway, I'll see you in a minute. Alright guys, it's the end of another long hunt. Um, yeah, I was hunting for Romans, but didn't really seem to happen today. I've got, I've got two, two little really grotty ones, nothing on them at all. Um, I was just, I had high hopes that this field would be the one that was sort of next to my Roman field that the Romans had also been on sort of thing, but... I don't know, there could still could still be stuff on there. I mean, it's a, like I said, it's a big field. I haven't done much really, even though I've been here for six hours. I haven't covered the whole field or anything, obviously. You can't do that on your own in six hours. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot more to do. So hopefully, and I saw some signs of Romans, saw two, those two Roman coins, oyster shell, loads of bloody, um, what looks like Roman tile or brick laying around on the fields. And the farmer's out now, actually I've just seen him rolling it. Because at the moment it's been like deep cultivated so it's quite hard to walk on and that so... I never know, it might, and it's really dry as well. So maybe after some rain, after he's rolled it, it might change, more stuff might come up. But as you just saw in the state of my finds bag, I mean the amount of signals I've dug, I've just dug loads and loads of signals, but just not very good stuff to be honest, it's all rubbish. But. Like I say, you've got to work through that rubbish to find the good stuff, so hopefully, I mean, I've got I've got a month on this field before they drill it, and he doesn't want me on there after that, so he's given me a month. So hopefully, we'll find something decent soon. Um, meanwhile, I'll be coming back here, I'll be going to my other Roman field as well, that's been ploughed and rolled now, so I'm ready to go back on there. So I'll have some good videos coming up for you, I've got a, um, going to do a day out in Essex as well. Got 200 acres in Essex that's just been cultivated. So, yeah, 
hopefully we have some good stuff coming up so please like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one guys thanks for watching